Uh, Senator, um, uh, th that's not a question that I'm equipped to, to answer. The, uh, it was million. in the public news. It was a, you may have heard of it, the Mueller investigation. It was a $32 million investigation that went over a couple of years. Uh, Horowitz was an investigator general, and he looked at the FBI's activity in the beginning of this. And what the FBI concluded was that there were FBI agents throughout this period of time who concluded that, yes, the dossier was full of Russian disinformation. So let's say it is Russian disinformation. You say your new disinformation governance board is going to help the public with disinformation. You claim it's not going to be about domestic. It's going to be about foreigners and those evil Russians. So here's my question. The FBI concludes that the Steele dossier was full of Russian disinformation. CNN propagated this disinformation gladly for years and years. The difference, I guess, between your opinion and our opinion is that as despicable as it is that CNN propagated this disinformation, I, I wouldn't shut them down. I wouldn't lecture them. I wouldn't put it on a government website that CNN's wrong for propagating disinformation. The problem you have is you're not even willing to admit. I mean, we can't even have an agreement on what the FBI said was disinformation. How do you propose that you're going to have an office of disinformation governance if you see the problem in even determining what is disinformation? Oh, Senator, because um, our work is not um, focused on disinformation writ large. Where we, the Department of Homeland Security, become involved is when there's a connectivity between disinformation and threats to the security of the homeland. Let me well, that's what well, the Russians can, might be considered that. You mentioned the Russians the other day when you tried to pivot away from this being about censorship. But let's say it is the Russians. I know you're not going to ever agree that the Steele dossier, which y'all spent so much money on, was disinformation. But it was, and the FBI concluded. But let's just say there's an imaginary disinformation. You've discovered tomorrow Russian disinformation that's going to hurt our national security. And CNN's broadcasting it. What are you going to do? Senator, let me... You're going to tell Putin... You shouldn't do this. Senator, Senator, what are you going to do? Senator, let me, let me explain what we do in the Department of Homeland Security with respect to disinformation and, frankly, what we've been doing for nearly 10 years across different administrations. The cartels, the cartels propagate disinformation that Title 42 does not apply to a particular community of migrants, migrants from a particular country. How what are they propagating do, this? If I may, through social media. And what we do through U.S. Customs and Border Protection is actually communicate via social media and other channels that that is false, that we do apply Title 42. So let's say there's Russian disinformation as well. Are you going to take to social media and broadcast that people are broadcasting something incorrect about what do you think is Russian disinformation? Uh, Senator, let me emphasize... Well, you said the other day Russians, and now you're saying not so much the Russians, you're saying the cartels. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Senator, you're, you're mischaracterizing well, my statement. Then what are you going to do if there's Russian disinformation? You're going to broadcast me, something on social media? Allow me to share when we become involved in the Department of Homeland Security. We become involved when disinformation poses a threat to the security of our country. It is when there's a connectivity to th a threat to our country. It could be a threat, a connectivity to violence. And what this, what this working group does, uh, what this working group does is precisely what I would think you would want it to do, which is to take a look at the work, the disinformation work that our department has done and ask the following questions. Do we have policies? Do we have guardrails? Do we have yeah, standards? But here's the problem. Ensure, we can't even means, agree. We can't even agree what disinformation is. is you well, can't even agree that it was disinformation, that the Russians fed information to the Steele dossier. If you can't agree to that, how are we ever going to come to an agreement on what is disinformation so you can police it on social media? Senator, I have two points, if I may uh, finish. Um, uh, number one, that with this office, with the, I'm sorry, what this working group does, because it's not an office, what this working group does is ensure that there are guardrails, definitions, standards to make sure that the free speech rights, the civil rights, yeah. civil liberties, and privacy rights of individuals. So do you think do you think COVID do you think COVID do you think COVID do you think COVID disinformation threatens our national security? And number two, if I may, Senator, and number two, is it your proposition 
that when the cartels spread disinformation with respect to our immigration policies to try to lure vulnerable migrants to our border illegally? I think you've got no idea what disinformation is, and I don't think the government's capable of it. Do you know who the greatest propagator of disinformation in the history of the world is? The U.S. government. Are you familiar with McNamara, the Pentagon Papers? Are you familiar with George W. Bush and the weapons of mass destruction? Are you familiar with Iran-Contra? I mean, think of all the debates and disputes we've had over the last 50 years in our country. We work them out by debating them. We don't work them out by the government being the arbiter. I don't want you guard guardrails. I want you to have nothing to do with speech. You think we can't determine you know, speech by traffickers is disinformation. You think the American people are so stupid they need you to tell them what the truth is? You can't even admit what the truth is with a steel dossier. I don't trust government to figure out what the truth is. Same. Government is largely disseminating disinformation. So I do have a question, and here's the question. So the Russians, maybe the Russians, maybe some cartels. What about COVID disinformation? Is that in your bailiwick for your, dis your disinformation governance board? Senator, you would have to give me the details with. Okay, here I, I I've said a million times I said a million times that cloth masks don't work. YouTube takes me down. They're a private company. I can have that beef with them. Uh, what about you? You're going to look at that. I often say that natural immunity from having had the infection is equal to the vaccine or better. You're going to take that down. There, there, there well, first of all, it's those are very specific. Senator, first of all, it's not for us to take it down. And second of all, are you going to put information not, out there are, saying that I'm spreading disinformation? I, 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 Senator, we are not the public health experts to make those determinations. So That's public not. health won't be part of the disinformation governance board. No COVID disinformation. Yes or no? Se Senator? Yes or no? Is public Senator, health going to be somebody, part of your censorship group? Somebody l l allow me because you're you're pre presenting hypotheticals that are vague. <laughs> Ambiguous. I just gave you a very specific let, one on cloth masks. I gave me, you a very specific you, one on immunity from you, previous infections. I answered your question, but let me let me answer the the last question that you posed. Do not, do not, under any circumstances, accept the vaccine at a FEMA uh, overseen vaccination center because they are actually peddling fentanyl. Now, should I sit back? and take that or should I actually disseminate accurate information? That's what we're doing, what we would do. S uh, should FEMA issue accurate information that the vaccinations that we are administering in the sites that we oversee actually are the COVID-19 vaccines? I have, I have a have greater respect for the American people That's than all, you do. I think the point. American people can figure out the truth. And if you think the American people need to be told there's not fentanyl in the vaccination, feel free to say it. But the thing is, is if you are going to go around saying that you are the arbiter of information and of disinformation, I think you have no clue. I've never and you seen don't that. have the perspective history knowing that disinformation, the largest progenitor of it, disinformation in our history has probably been the U.S. government. I've, I've never said that and actually I've said the Thank exact opposite. Thank you, we Senator. We are not the truth police. Thank you, Senator.